Let's see how we can install Windows 11 on VirtualBox. First, I'll open VirtualBox. Now, you need to have Windows 11 ISO installed. Sorry, not installed, downloaded. So if you don't have it downloaded, check the link in the description below. It will show how you can download official Windows 11 ISO. Once you have that downloaded, click on new and give a name to your virtual machine. I'll call it Win 11 VM. And from here, you need to select the ISO image of Windows 11 that you have just downloaded. So you can click here and click on other. In my case, I have it here in volume D and this is where it is. Yeah, so I have it here. Double click on it and now click on next. And now you need to set username and password. Now uh, it does not matter. This is for unattended install, but in any case, so let's say I'll just uh, write PCC and click next and base memory. The minimum recommended is 4 GB and processors minimum recommended is 2. So you can increase your processor count and increase your RAM accordingly. But I recommend to keep a minimum of 4 GB that is 4096 MB and 2 core. And now click next. And virtual hard disk, I will i don't have much storage left, so I'll just leave it at 15 GB. And now click next. Click finish. And now you have this ready. And as you can see here, it is powering up your machine with your Windows 11 ISO. So let's wait till this is done. Four or five. So after a while, this will pop up and now your Windows 11 installation will start. So after a while, you'll see this message. This might take a few minutes to turn off your PC. This is because Windows 11 is finally setting up. It will take quite some time. Uh, in my case, it took around 10 minutes. So let's wait till this is also done. So after quite some time, as you can see, Windows 11 has, has been installed and we have TCC as our user that we had set when we were installing uh, initially in VirtualBox also. So this is the user and the password is also set to TCC or whatever you have set when you were installing it. So this is how you can install Windows 11 in VirtualBox. Now you can use Windows 11 properly here. And yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.